Welcome to the Flaming Greek, the hottest cooking show on the planet. Watch the hilarious duo cooking up adventure with the help of the torch. The Flaming Greek and Cami on Foodie TV. www.theflaminggreek.com. Welcome to this episode of The Flaming Greek. I'm Cami, and this is a Greek. And I see we have some pasta over there. Do you like pasta? I love pasta. Well, that's what we're going to be doing. We have some fresh pasta. As viewers can see, this is not your typical pasta. This is fresh. See, it's nice and, and moist. It's not like the stuff out of the box, so it's not hard. I love it. It's kind of like pizza dough. So we're gonna be doing that. You got some marinara sauce. Mm-hmm. And this is going to require a lot of olive oil. You know the olive oil we use? Vanolio. That's right. We got vanolio. So I did this marinara sauce um, about 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna start off with Grease our vanolio. Grease the pan yeah? up with some vanolio. Well, the flavor is just unbelievable. It's good stuff. Oh no. Vanilla. You can even smell it. So I'm going to put the marinara sauce in here. Right in the pan, just like yeah. that. So now, what would you put your flame at for those at home? I had that on like low, 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 and that's why I got that reaction. Low, low, low with the vanilla. Yeah, but just, just let it, you know, simmer. I'm talking about the marinara sauce. Absolutely. Delicious, a lot of basil in here. Ooh, it? ooh, it's yummy. <laughs> All right, so we have some salt here. All right, so we have some um, basil. We got some black pepper, some parmesan cheese. Some parmesan cheese. Some crushed red pe pepper, a little parsley, and some chopped garlic, and some more basil. Because you can never have enough basil when you're doing pasta. Okay. So over here we have some chopped onions, some um, clams. clams, we have a little conch. bit of conch, and we have some soft shell crabs, a little bit of garlic. Yes, there. we do. All right, so you know what we're going to do with that? No, what are we going to do with this it? This pan's going to get good and hot. Yeah. And I want you to put some of the vanilla. Vanilla! be generous with that. Let me just take this off for a second. You don't have to ask me to be generous. And I'll yes. sprinkle that. Yeah, keep it in the pan, not on the stove. But, I mean, I love it so much, I want it to go everywhere. Yes, it is delicious. Thank you. So, let me just get this pan hot. Torch it, I think you should torch it. No problem, torch, torch it. I'd say that pan's probably about 420, 450 degrees, and if the heat points just start to come up. Here it goes. Good quality olive oil on salads, on vegetables, and also for cooking. All right, so let's throw those onions in there, please. Maybe throw a little garlic in there. I love my pork. getting a suntan over here. Forget about going to the tanning salon, just get the, the torch on your skin. All right, so you can take that, you can like um, look pretty, stir that around. I look pretty now. Now, meanwhile, on the right hand side of this, as I say, I got some um, basil, chopped, a little black pepper. And, uh, so is there salt in there or is it just black pepper? I'm going to put a little salt in there. Mm. But then again, the salt's going to go in last. Well, you know I love salt. Yeah. So, salt over everything. Generous with the vanilla and some crushed red peppers. Mm. Don't want to kill anybody with that. It looks like the swamp thing coming out of there. Yeah. <laughs> some garlic. Put the whole thing in there. And a little Parmesan cheese. We'll save some to top it off when we're done. Would you like the uh, the spoon to stir? Yes, darling. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
it's looking so yummy. You know, for the people out there, you know, you can always use a little wine. Remember, what you drink this is what you can cook with. You can't drink it, don't be cooking with it. Careful of your. Yeah, I got that right. Yeah. Low, low, low. Yeah. All right, so you got that browning. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is, if you don't mind, let's throw the crabs in there first. Okie dokie. All that. Thank you. Now should I just plop them in there? Yeah, just throw them in there. They're good. A little more vanilla. Oh, the little leg. <laughs> you know, all this stuff is optional. You don't have to eat that, but it's going to add enhance the flavor mm -hmm. of that marinara sauce. Spin up the crabs. Let's do a little torch. Stand back. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's good. It's, yeah, it's turning on. Um, wow. Yeah. All right, so what you can do, you can start throwing the clams in there, please. Just, Just throw them all in there. All of them? Yes, please. All right, a little stir. Mm. I'm sorry. Now, the conch. Now the conch is that nice big shell you come back from in the Caribbean. With. You see every tourist is. And don't forget about, she's doing the right thing there because she's putting the broth in there. So what we'll do is start to reduce that because that will also disappear and then we'll have the sauce. So this is all about the flavor. Let me give you a little more heat here. And you know I love garlic. Oh, we got the garlic in there already. Yes. So I'll take that. There's a little bit more. I mean, if you yeah. really want to just like skip it. <laughs> All right, so let's speed this up. Sometimes the torch not go off Very dangerous, that thing. Yes, it is. So how are we doing? Um, so for the people at home, what, how would you know when it was finished? Well, because really what I want to do, I just want this marinara sauce to outshine that. So you see all the liquid in there? Mm -hmm. We're going to do it until we reduce it. Until it's all, until it's like pretty much all evaporated and... Yeah, because you see this hot water, we're going to yeah. use that for the pasta. So the thing is, is that basically the same thing. We put hot water on, steam Let it boil out, up and down. the water to go down. Yeah, as a matter of fact, talking about that, I'm going to throw some more water in. <laughs> All right, so let's throw a little more basil in there. We can stir that up. Let's break it up. Yeah, yeah. we got some um, rolls here. Yes. We're gonna torch these up. They're nice and soft. All right, what we're going to do this is just take these and we're going to just put a nice slice down the middle of it. And you know, basically you do anything with these. And what I am going to do is olive oil, a little Parmesan cheese. How's that going? It's going. <laughs> going. It's yummy. So is this something that you're going to be interested in eating? Um, of course, I try everything once. So the thing is, you don't have to eat the conch or the conch. No, I'm going to eat it. And the clam, but the thing is, when you see what we're going to prepare here. Listen, I will try anything once. I'm, 
Even though I'm a picky eater, I will try anything. Good girl. Because you never know, I could like it, just like the, cr the crabs are yummy. The sauce is good now, but the seafood is going to enhance the sauce. It's all about the flavor. And be careful, because it does spit at you a little bit, if you're moving it like I do. Remember when you're using a knife, you use it away from you? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you don't cut downwards? Oh, well, if you miss, guess what's going to get hit? Probably all my skin. So you could start like you don't, that. You don't, you don't want pasta and skin. That's not a good combination. No. No. So always angle the knife upwards. I yeah. never knew that. That's a very good uh, good little tip. And when you're handing a person a knife, you hand it like Well, that. yeah, I always, I always hand knives like that, but I never knew about the cutting upwards. That's something new. You learn something new every day. All right, so we're going to put the pasta in here, or some of it. Boy, doesn't that look good. Oh, yummy. Bad habits die hard. A little salt. <laughs> All right, so the water's boiling. You know, you, you really got to give this maybe about a minute and a half. Once it's, once it's careful of your sleep, because it's a little dangerous with the torch. Yeah, man, I work with fire every day. But if you're not paying attention, you could go up in flames, That's and right. then it would just be the flaming cami, and then not the yeah. flaming Greek. The Greek. And I wouldn't know what I was doing. This is why the, this is why he teaches me a lot of things how to cook. So that's looking good. Yes, yummy. Put it out. All right, here's my strainer. It's back here. All right, we're doing good. We're right on time. Now, um, again, how? How long would you leave the pasta in for? Just maybe about a minute and a half. Because really? It, That's it, it? Well, because it's not the stuff out of the box, meaning, you know, like it's raw card. But you're so eating it raw? Yeah. It's like pizza dough. I love it. Yummy. So really just until, see, it's starting to come from the camera on there. It's just starting to come apart. Separating. Maybe we should turn this down a little. We're yes. Was the liquid almost out of there? Yeah, that's why I said turn down maybe a little. Yeah. So, oh, you know what? I think it may need a little bit of olive oil, some vanolio. 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 All right, put the vanolio in there. Good stuff. All right, so we're going to use some vanolio on our garlic bread. So be generous with it. Because it is really good. I mean, even if you were to eat the bread by itself with the vanolio, it's heaven. It's right. such heaven, isn't the, it? Yep, the toast in the morning. No butter, Fantastic. no cream cheese, vanilla. So you're just coating it? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, pasta looks like it's ready. How do you know that it's ready? Well, because it's separated. It rises to the top, doesn't it, when it's yeah. ready? You see it's all floating around. Oh, it's actually a little clumpy. Maybe, maybe, I think, could you could you torch the bottom of the pan? Would yeah, that be something that you could do with pasta or no? Yeah, but there's enough heat on here. It's looking good. Let's give it another minute. So, you're looking pretty chipper today. That's a nice dress you had on. Thank you. Thank you. You look happy, happy, happy. Yes. All right. So I think maybe both this and this is ready, huh? So it's all squingy. Is it ready? I mean, yeah. There's no more liquid in here. Maybe a little bit of more vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. All right. Pretty much. I think it's pretty much ready. And uh, I think the pasta's done, yeah? Yep, let's get rid of this. You have the, let me grab the strainer for you. And I'm gonna leave it there. Oh, you're gonna leave it in the yeah. sink, okay. All right, so the pasta looks ready. I'm just gonna put it in the marinara sauce. Just like that. Mmm, that's a 
something very yummy. Yeah. I do love, I do love me some pasta. More vanilla. That's gonna add. Like? That's gonna add so much flavor. It's so delicious. It's so good. I could literally probably live off of vanilla. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you put it in your bread, you put it in your pasta, you can put it in anything. It's so delicious. The health benefits are just incredible. Yes. Screw butter. I mean, yeah. just add some olive oil to it. That's it. It's All way right. healthier. Now we're gonna throw some of that in here. Let me just add a little. Oh yeah. <laughs> throw it in the pan, yeah. The parsley. You could stir that up, please. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. So, all right, let me grab the bowl. So let's put the pasta in here first. Then we could see it on top. Yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Hey, has anybody ever been down to Little Italy? In what state? Yeah, see. There's a little Italy in every state, from what I'm aware of. <laughs> I know there's also one in, I guess, uh, Montreal, in Canada. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna we're we gonna throw it in here. Okay, what you can do is just take a few scoops, whatever you want to do, and put it on top of the pasta. So when you do that, just put that just on, on, on the top, and then we'll um, Parmesan cheese. You like cheese? I do love cheese. Just that's for you, so do what you want. Oh, I thought I was making that one. <laughs> no, that's for you. <laughs> oh, this one's for me? Yes, that's all yours. Oh, boy, okay. Hey, let's get in there. I got one more thing to complete. Is my garlic bread. And you want a piece of this, right, Ken? Absolutely. And the Greeks can show you how it's done. Torch it up! No need for an oven, no need for a boiler. Salt. Mm. All right. Here's a fork for you. Ooh. Here's one for me. Yeah. There's, you know, there's two types of spaghetti eaters. There's the twisters, and then there's the people that cut the spaghetti. I am a twister. Are All you right. a twister, or do you cut it? I'm a twister. Ready? It up. Ready? Let's see what we got here. Go. Mm. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Thank you. Delicious. Mm. It's very good. Well, listen, it's that salt, seafood, marinara sauces, delicious. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the vanilla. But make sure to have your hair out of your face when you eat it. And be very sloppy like me. <laughs> Best stuff on it. Would you like a piece of garlic or something? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think it's pretty good. And listen, everybody at home can do the same thing. It's easy, it's quick. Something that you can take. And, and you can really taste like how delicious the, ol the vanilla olive oil is on it. It is. It almost gives it, it its own flavor, you know, it's just complete. Oh my gosh. So good. I love the vanilla olive oil. I just got a piece of crab with that vanilla Fantastic. Sauce. Fantastic. Very good. You know, Cam, truffles would be great on here as well. Mm, for you, yeah. yeah. I'm allergic to truffles, so I can't eat them. A little more cheese. And so, listen. 
Now you know, you don't have to eat canned tomatoes. No, spaghetti. you can make your own. Yeah, and it mm. was easy. And this crab is delicious in here. Mm. You see, all that seafood just enhanced that marinara sauce. Yeah, it almost it almost gives it its own flavor. It's almost like um like a mixture of um, yeah. it's like a masterpiece. Yeah. It's a masterpiece. So this is what it is. Yeah, seafood with red sauce doesn't get any better than delicious. that. Delicious. Yeah. Tammy, this is just delicious. It is absolutely delicious. You know what's even more delicious? What? On those 200 pages of recipes on this beautiful book, which is the Flaming Greek book, which you can get on www.flaminggreek.tv and also on Amazon. With Tammy. With me on there. So listen, thanks for watching. I want everybody just to stay hot. Try this recipe. Fantastic. Fantastic. And www.theflaminggreek.tv. www. Flamingreek.tv. Yeah, I think I said it right, right? Yes. Until next time, guys. Thank you guys right. so much. For a copy of any of the recipes that you've seen on today's program, please purchase the Flaming Greek and Kami Cookbook, a delightful, colorful page photo coffee table cookbook that will have you and your family enjoying these recipes in the convenience of your own home. Cook with the Flaming Greek. To purchase the cookbook, log on to theflaminggreek.com. The price is $44.95 plus shipping and handling. Offer made by the Flaming Greek Production.